Hi guys, welcome back to Medieval Mondays with St. Donald Castle. And if you haven't met me yet, my name is Blythe and I am the Education Officer at St. Donald Castle. So today, as promised last week, we are going to be talking about my very favorite piece of kit in the entire St. Donald collection and certainly my favorite helmet and it is called a pig-faced bassinet. A bassinet is a type of helmet which became popular in Europe around 700 years ago. And I'll show you a picture of a typical bassinet here. Now, in the years before people wore the bassinet, they wore a great helm, which I showed you last week and we'll talk about in a few weeks. But that is this guy here. Now, the bassinet was shaped more like a globe. So it's a bit rounder, as you can see. This one's a bit rounder than this, so it's made to fit around your head. And it was often accompanied by a piece of chain mail, that's the stuff we talked about last week, that would come down from the helmet to protect your neck and shoulders. Now our bassinet is called a pig face bassinet due to its very distinct visor. The pointed visor was called pig face by later historians in Britain, so not actually what they would have called it at the time, because they believed it was had a pig-like appearance. So in Germany, and perhaps in medieval Britain, they called it a hoon skull. Possibly as it was believed it more looked more like a dog snout. Either way, personally, I think it looks a bit more like a bird skull helmet. The visor on this could lift up and down to allow for more protection or for, to allow you to be able to see, move and breathe when you weren't, when you didn't have the helmet down. Now, of course you can breathe with it down, but not as well. Trust me, I've been in there. So what is it made of? Well, like plate mail, this pig face bassinet is made of sheets of metal, mainly steel that have been pounded flat and then molded into shape and riveted together. The visor, so this bit, is usually held on by one hinge that would be here in the top in the middle or a bit more like our, ours with hinges or bolts near the temple. So two of them on the helmet here and here, which allows the visor to go up and down. And of course on the inside, like basically all of our helmets at the castle, there's a bit of leather padding. Now you're going to wear your arming cap typically underneath this, but that still helps to keep your head in place. And it makes it a lot more comfortable for us to wear, that's for sure. How much does it weigh? We've been asking that about all of our pieces, haven't we? And this helmet is actually not that heavy. Despite how thin it is, there are a lot of pieces of metal fastened together. You would think it would weigh a little bit more. It actually weighs two kilos or 4.6 pounds. That still makes it a lot lighter than a great helm, which weighs in at 3.1 kilos or just shy of seven pounds. What type of people used it? Well, remember we talked about last week, the number of different pieces of metal and the craftsmanship making it a bit more expensive. So our pig face bassinet has lots of different pieces of metal, not just different pieces of metal holding it together and what it's made of, but it also has, of course, these pieces which help it to go up and down. And it has this gold trim, this decoration. So it probably would have been typically for upper class. It wouldn't have been for your poor foot soldiers. Those types of helmets, remember, as we've talked about, would be made really simply of just one piece of metal. Of course, we can't actually end this video without me putting it on. Now, normally I'd put the arm and cap on underneath it, but in this case, my head's pretty big and the bottom of this is pretty small. I actually can't fit in it with the arm and cap on, so I'm gonna take these off and then put this right on my head. It has a buckle here, just like a bicycle helmet. So you can buckle yourself in. Ta-da! Now, so while this two-piece bassinet may have been at the peak of a helmet fashion and technology about 700 years ago, by around 1420, so 600 years ago, it had gone out of fashion, meaning it was the hot thing for a while. 
but it didn't last long in the spotlight, kind of like fidget spinners or hoverboards. So by the middle of the 15th century, so about 550 years ago, helmets began to get lighter and easier to wear, often with exposed pieces in the face, which may leave you more vulnerable, but it's actually a lot easier to wear and it doesn't cut into the back of your head quite like this one does. Whew, sorry guys, had to take that off. Not very comfortable. Probably one of the reasons it didn't last long in fashion. Now that's all I have to say about our pig face bassinet. As usual, I'm gonna put some links in the comments below. So if you're interested in bassinets or pig face bassinets like ours, please follow these links to read a little bit more about it. Now next week for Medieval Monday, we're going to be back to talk about this guy. So swords, but specifically this sword in particular and what was special about it. So join us next week for Medieval Monday to learn about the sword that we have in the castle's collection. And as usual, if you enjoyed this video, please consider going to Donald Castle's Facebook page or our website and making a small donation to the education program so that we can continue to bring these videos to you while we're not on site. Thanks so much.